Hello, Internet. I haven't been filming, even though I was just talking to myself for five minutes. Let's try this again. Here, I have a cool desktop background my nephew wants me to share with you. And here, here, we have the code for my hog drive as it stands. Pay attention now. Pause where if you need to. And then, from the U.S. There's a hand in the shot. Oh, my goodness. Whoa, where did that come from? Giant hand. Yes, you're following along. The wiring, the diagram. Got it. Good. You in the back of the class. Stop picking your nose. And around and about. And there we are. Now, faithful assistant, please throw lever number one. I currently have about 35 degrees range of motion in this model. And assistant two, lever two. Look at that, so fast the camera just sees a blur. Actually, with the naked eye, it's still a blur. Fantastic. So, for those of you who don't wonder, what the hell is this thing and what's it good for? If I put this down, and the ball is, oh, the, the spinny bit is straight up, this won't go anywhere. But the moment it tips, this will start to move around. So this would make it go in great big circles if this was an RC car. Assistant, lever two, please. Fantastic. And lever one, and never forget, never forget, aside from washing your hands, always make sure the spinny bit stops moving before you put it down. I've ruined a couple of tabletops that way. So, this has been Dan at MarginallyClever.com, bringing you great robots uh, for you to build and enjoy and share with your friends and learn. Share it, tweet it, and... Um, and come talk to me about robots. I love to talk about robots. Thank you very much. Have a good night. I'm going to have some vitamin C and pass out. Talk to you later.